Until recently, I had never seen a James Bond film. I asked on Twitter where to start, and generally it was advised to start at the beginning. So I did, I watched Dr. No and really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd give the second one a watch, and I've decided that From Russia With Love is definitely not as good. I feel like it's a bit more cliché, is what I would expect from this kind of spy film. By which I mean cliché for now. Maybe when it was released in 1963, this wasn't quite as cliché. Certainly I've seen films similar to this um, that came out previously, but obviously by now this is kind of a classic spy film. Dr. No, I feel like, had a few more unique elements to it. So I didn't really enjoy the narrative, but I, I liked the use of the soundtrack. The recurring soundtrack um, pops up now and again. Uh, the characters I thought were interesting. The um, technical aspects, the way it was shot, the special effects, all really enjoyable and really engaging. I just didn't really care for the narrative. Personally, this one, I'm not going to spoil anything, but this one picks up after the first one. Um, where people are out to get James Bond because of what he did in the first film. I won't say it, just in case you haven't seen it. And this um, involving this involves a um, Russian woman um, who obviously is very, I guess, treated very stereotypically, as I would have expected. She is not um, as unique or as interesting as the lead female in the first film. Again, not going to go into any details, but I felt like I felt like that was the case for a lot of the characters. There were quite a few stock characters, um, although I did really enjoy Rosa Klebb, played by Lost Lenya. Um, I thought she was absolutely brilliant. Tatiana, on the other hand, um, Romanova, Tatiana Romanova was interesting, quite well developed as a character, but she was just missing something. Um, there was just something about the character that didn't really do too much for me. Um, but this assassination plot involves um, Romanova um, and uh, they are trying to retrieve this Soviet um, encryption, encryption device. Um, we get to know a lot more about Spectre in this case. I don't really care. Um, I'm not yet interested about any of that. Maybe I will be, but I feel like they haven't really sold it to me as a not very big spy film fan. Again, not really the fault of the film, but people have said to me, you know, James Bond is one of those series where you can watch it, even if you're not a big fan of spy films. And I found that with the first film. I absolutely did with Doctor No. But with From Russia With Love, given how generic it is and stereotypical with a lot of the elements, again, for today, um, I feel like this just didn't appeal to me as much as the first film. It wasn't as unique, it wasn't as fresh. It didn't have as many exciting elements to the narrative as the first film did. Although the cat absolutely loved it. Um, definitely. The scene with the fish and the cat I just thought was uh, beautiful but bizarre. And the rest of it just kind of went, not downhill, it wasn't bad. It was just very straight. There wasn't really many, there, wasn't, there weren't really many bumps of excitement throughout the narrative. I was just kind of going through the motions. But visually, I do think it is a great achievement. Um, some brilliant editing, fantastic use of special effects. Connery's performance as Bond was obviously great, very high energy. Um, but the character, again, just wasn't as interesting in this one as he was in the first. I just don't think it's as well written, and it's as simple as that. It's quite highly rated, um, 7.4 out of 10 on IMDb, which is obviously a very, very good rating. But for me personally, given what I was looking for in a film... It, it didn't speak to me. The elements that made me enjoy Dr. No were missing from here. Maybe you like that if you're looking for a more traditional spy film. Or, tra again, traditional for today. What we are used to today is very much what we see in this film. But it, it hasn't put me off continuing. I'm going to continue watching the James Bond films because I feel like they're probably all going to be very different in style depending on the supporting characters, the actual setting of the narrative, the director and presumably whoever is playing James Bond at the time. So I'm keen to see what the other ones are like. But for now, Dr. No I liked, From Russia With Love, not so much.